Quote, Computers are now capable of scanning images of your lips, eyes, and nose to detect future criminality. It's enough to make phrenology seem quaint. End quote. Tech journalist Sam Biddle, 2017. Magnumworkshop.com. What is physiognomy? Physiognomy is a person's expressions or facial features, particularly when used to indicate a person's character. Humans make assumptions about other humans' character based on just their looks. Nineteenth-century physiognomy and its sister science of phrenology got their start in the early to mid-nineteenth century. From PubMed, Boshears Whitaker, Phrenology and Physiognomy. 2013. Phrenology evolved from the work of Franz Joseph Gall, becoming a fixture in Victorian culture, arts, and letters. Novelists such as Charlotte Bronte, Charles Dickens, Ralph Waldo Emerson not only accepted the principles, but exploited it in their characters. Charles Dickens, Body Semiotics and Agency, 1859. Quote, there is nothing truer than physiognomy. End quote. Charles Darwin was an active member of the Plinian Society at Edinburgh in the 1830s. The society was made up of naturalists and medical students. Its purpose was to entertain unorthodox views of science. Plinians had strong ties to the Burgundian phrenology movement across Britain. Quote, There is no doubt that the various races, when carefully compared and measured, differ much from each other, as in texture of hair, proportions of all parts of the body, the capacity of the lungs, the capacity of the skull, the brain. Their mental characteristics are likewise distinct. End quote. Darwin's cousin, Francis Galton, was a leader in 19th century physiognomy. From Britannica, Galton was an English explorer anthropologist and eugenicist known for his pioneering studies of human intelligence. Indeed, Darwin credited Galton in Descent of Man. Lombroso and Genetic Determinism Italian anatomist and forensic specialist Cesare Lombroso was a Galton contemporary. He has been called the godfather of criminology. Lombroso promoted the view that criminality was an inherent characteristic. He called his theories atavism. From Margit Averdijk, Ph.D., Criminology, University of Zurich. In The Criminal Man, first published in 1876, Lombroso developed his theory of criminal anthropology to explain why people commit crime. Atavistic characteristics comes from the word avitos, or ancestor in Latin. From Criminology.web, according to Lombroso, born criminals have certain physical characteristics or abnormalities. These abnormalities have come from an earlier stage of human evolution, a period when a more primitive human and apes existed, throwbacks to earlier phases of human history. Filipino YouTuber Bequeno explains, Lombroso asserted criminals have the appearance of an earlier pre-human form, a primitive stage of evolution. They are beastly, indicative to the earliest form of life. Now in the 2020s, there is a re-emergence of physiognomy and phrenology. Artificial intelligence is inadvertently bringing racial differences to the fore, and the public policy ramifications of recognizing facial and cranial variations, along with other inherent physical characteristics, are enormous. Artificial intelligence software holds great promise, particularly for law enforcement, in recognizing criminals or those who have the potential for committing criminal acts. For example, BBC March 2023 Miami police said they use the software for every type of crime, from murders to shoplifting. 
Assistant Chief of Police Armando Aguilar said his team used the system about 450 times a year and that it had helped solve several murders. Some liberal media have sought to link AI profile software with the alt-right and attacked it as quote-unquote scientific racism. Others have attacked the emerging technology as pseudoscience. It has even been dubbed New Age Physiognomy. Sarah Waldorf, Getty Media, 2012, The Beautiful Pseudoscience. Physiognomy is uncomfortable, messy, and often racist, but I do understand its motivation. The urge to classify, study, and characterize people is based in the desire to understand ourselves more clearly. From BigThink.com, 2013, high-tech attempt to pick out facial features associated with criminality borrows directly from the photographic composite method developed by Victorian jack-of-all-trades Francis Galton. The Wu and Zhang Study, 2017. From The Intercept, 2016, two Shanghai Jiao Tong University researchers say they fed facial images of 1,856 real persons into computers and found features for predicting criminality, such as lip curvature, eye inner corner distance, and nose mouth angle. Continuing, Wu and Zhang overlaid faces of multiple people in a certain category to find the features indicative of qualities like health, disease, beauty, and criminality, identifying criminals with an accuracy of 89.5%. Continuing, they conclude that all four classifiers perform consistently well and produce evidence for the validity of automated face-induced inference on criminality, despite the historical controversy surrounding the topic. The authors of the study, Xiaolin Wu and Shi Jiang, were accused of racism. They were forced to issue a partial retraction at responses to critiques on machine learning of criminality perceptions, May 2017. That it has become a media consumption is a total surprise to us. Although in agreement with our critics on the importance of policing AI research for the good of society, we are deeply baffled by the ways some of them misrepresented our work, in particular the motive and objective of our research. Shaolin Wu and Shi Zhang. Another study agreed with Wu and Zhang from Sage Journals, Jan Havelcheck et al. Perceived Aggressiveness, 2013. Shape regressions revealed that aggressive-looking faces are generally wider and have a broader chin, more prominent eyebrows, and a larger nose than less aggressive-looking faces. Racial Profiling The social justice warriors are out in force, protesting against the use of AI software for profiling in non-white communities, particularly among Afro-ethnics. Dr. Joy Bualamwini, a consultant for Ole Makeup, has coined a new phrase, algorithmic injustice, to describe AI software programs that are perceived to be biased against blacks. From Wired.com, 2019, quote, AI facial recognition affects different groups differently, end quote, said Shankar Narayan of the ACLU, Washington State. They are suing in numerous states. Recognizing friend from foe. Kate Douglas, new scientist, effortless thinking stereotyping, 2017 being able to quickly assess whether someone is friend or foe and whether they have the power to help or hurt us is important survival information. Early modern humans were especially adept at recognizing kin and fellow tribesmen from facial features. 
These features were largely derived from archaic hominin DNA admixture, including Neanderthals, Denisovans, and likely Homo erectus. A groundbreaking study in 2014 by UC Berkeley zoologist Michael J. Sheehan found that humans evolved highly specialized and distinct facial features in order to recognize close kin and other members of one's extended family. Quote, humans are phenomenally good at recognizing faces. There's a part of the brain specialized for that. End quote, Sheehan said. Continuing, quote, our study now shows that humans have been selected to be unique and easily recognizable. It is clearly beneficial for me to recognize others, but also beneficial for me to be recognizable. End quote. Sheehan, Berkeley News, 2014. From the Smithsonian, with barely a glance, your brain assesses the features on those faces and fits them to the corresponding individual. As highly social animals, humans need to be able to quickly and easily identify each other by sight. ORB, Own Racial Bias. Humans, like other primates, have an innate ability to recognize members of our own clan or tribe over those of outsiders through distinct facial features. Social scientists call this phenomenon Own Racial Bias or ORB. One study was conducted by Malaysian researchers in 2020. The own race bias for face recognition in a multiracial society by Wang Hu Keat et al. It found that despite living in a multiracial society, people of one race still have difficulties recognizing facial cues for members of other races. From the study, even Malaysian young adults had difficulty generalizing other race faces. Our findings suggest that perception of own race faces automatically initiates a finer level of perceptual encoding processing. ORB in adulthood is a very robust effect. Continuing, the data imply that interracial contact may not be one of the critical factors that mitigate ORB. Nine-month-olds recognize only own race faces. Such early form recognition bias for own race faces cannot be readily altered by increased exposure to other race faces. An earlier study was published at Wiley.com 2019, Siegfried Sporer et al., which found very similar results. Recognizing faces from ethnic in-groups and out-groups, importance of outer face features, and retention interval. The study was conducted on white German and Turkish participants. The study authors concluded people recognize faces from their own ethnic group more accurately than faces from other ethnic groups. Own ethnicity effects were found with recognition accuracy and response bias varying across the different stimulus sets. From Nature, The Evolutionary History of the Human Face, Chris Stringer, Katerina Harvati, et al., 2019. Modern humans have a short, retracted face beneath a large, globular brain case that is distinctively different from that of our closest living relatives. The Stringer Harvati study and other recent papers have shown faces in the Homo sapiens lineage have evolved in the last 600 to 700,000 years to be more gracile and less robust, and the evidence is increasing that these gracile facial features evolved outside of Africa. One study published in 2020 by famed Spanish paleoanthropologists Maria Martinón Torres and José María Bermúdez de Castro strongly suggests that gracile features mainly evolved in Eurasia, not on the African continent, the dental proteome of Homo antecessor. From Ancient Origins 2020, according to the research paper, previous studies have confirmed that Homo antecessor exhibits the oldest known modern-like face in the fossil record. 
Quote, the face of Homo antecessor is very similar to that of Homo sapiens. The fact that Homo antecessor is a European species may also be a reason to find more similarities with Neanderthals. End quote. Jose Maria Bermudez de Castro. Sub-Saharan Africans have up to 19% archaic DNA admixture. Many have retained robust facial traits, likely from Homo erectus. Robust features would have proved greatly advantageous for survival in challenging environments. And there is even evidence to suggest modern African males have been selected for robust features. From PubMed 2017 by Helen Steele, Benete Chotzi et al. Facial appearance reveals immunity in African men. The authors found robust, muscular facial features were especially important for African men. Continuing, we show that men with a stronger cytokine response are considered significantly more attractive and healthy. Men with more masculine, heavier facial features have a significantly higher cytokine response and appear healthier. Another study from 2014 came to similar conclusions. From PubMed, NIH.gov, Lisa Dubuin, Anthony Little, et al. Facial Attractiveness, Evolutionary-Based Research. A large jaw and a prominent brow ridge are reliably associated with ratings of dominance. And scientists are learning more about monoamine oxidase from NIH.gov, the criminal gene 2017. Recent advances in neurocriminology include the discovery of possible links between violent criminal behavior and genetics. MAOA gene has been linked to increased levels of aggression and violence. Top criminologists agree. There seems to be evidence for a link between MAOA and violence. Biosocial criminologist Professor J.C. Barnes, University of Cincinnati, was quoted at Salon January 2023, quote, It's clear our genetic and biological makeup have an impact on our behavior, end quote. From Scientific American 2011, the MAOA allele occurs in apes and monkeys as well as in humans and was subsequently favored by natural selection. MAOA was less common among Caucasians, 34%, and Hispanics, 29%, but common among Africans, 59%. Given all the evidence for extreme racial differences and with all the new genetic evidence coming to light, moving forward, it will be increasingly difficult for tech industries to avoid some sort of profiling in AI standards. Will big tech and their allies in the media bow down to the leftist special interests or utilize profiling, including AI, to protect the American people from increasing crime and mob violence? Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and please pass this video on to others. Thank you.